A trip to the gas station turned into a wild ride through two northeast Ohio cities. A carjacking and a robbery at Wycliffe and Willowick police very busy. News Channel 5 Shay Harris joins us live from the newsroom with more on the story. Shay, question, was anyone hurt? Well, no, Leon, no one was actually hurt by the suspect, but one employee broke her arm running to the storage room for safety when she realized the store was being robbed. Scary moments for clerks inside this Speedway gas station in Wycliffe this morning. Surveillance video shows a man robbing the clerk at knife point. This knife had about an eight-inch blade on it. This male uh, came across the counter area, uh, was pretty aggressive in his demands. But this guy's mayhem didn't start in Wycliffe. He was busy minutes earlier where police say he stole a car from the Willowick Speedway gas station. He'd gone inside to prepay for gasoline, left the vehicle at the pump. The uh, vehicle was running with the keys inside. After he paid, he came out and realized the vehicle had been taken. So. The suspect disappeared after robbing the Wycliffe Speedway, but investigators were on his trail. So we had a couple of detectives in an unmarked car kind of canvassing those areas looking for this uh, stolen vehicle out of Willowick and the vehicle that was used in our crime. The officers focused on an area frequented by drug dealers. As luck would have it, they actually saw the vehicle driving down the road occupied by a couple of people. Um, they attempted to stop that vehicle with the assistance of East Cleveland police officers. There was a chase, but within minutes, the two men were taken into custody. Particularly with an increase in heroin use in Greater Cleveland, it seems like we're seeing these kinds of things a little more frequently than we used to. Lieutenant Turner says there's a lesson in this situation. Don't leave your vehicle running, even if you're running in the store for a second just to prepay for gasoline or pick something up. These things can happen, so don't make it easy. Now, no official charges have been filed at this time, but police did say the suspect revealed to the clerk that he was robbing the store because he had a drug problem. On your side, Shay Harris, News Channel 5.